Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I wanted to do a casual get ready with me style video. I am about to film my August favourites and one of my August favourites, spoiler alert, is my MAC Whirl lip pencil. Absolutely love this and this has been going crazy around sort of the makeup industry at the moment all thanks to Kylie Jenner. I believe this is either rumoured to be or it is the lip pencil or the colour that she wears on her lips that everybody's kind of going crazy about that 90s style look. I know every makeup guru and their poodle have basically done a tutorial featuring one of those photos. I do want to put some makeup on so I'm kind of been inspired by a photo of her. It's quite simple, it's quite easy, it's a look that you could definitely use for every day. Okay, so let's start with a little bit of skin prep. I have applied some of my Antipodes Rejoice Light Facial Day Cream as my moisturizer. I'm also going to apply a little bit of lip balm. This is the Nux Rev de Mil uh, lip balm. I'm going to apply a little bit of this just to prep my lips but also to prep a bit of my skin just around here. I don't recommend necessarily putting like a lip balm on your skin but this part of my skin is so dry that any makeup just basically flakes straight away. I'm going to prime with the Napoleon Purtis Autopilot Pre Foundation Skin Primer. Just blending that all over my face with my fingers. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Healthy Mix Foundation. I'm just applying this to my skin using a paddle brush and then I'm going to blend in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. In the photo that I'm looking at, Kylie's skin is quite perfected. It seems to have almost like a velvet finish to it. I don't know if that's sort of the foundation or if it's fancy kind of photo filters, but seems to be almost perfect. Doesn't not dewy, but it does have a glow to it. I'm using the shade number 52 vanilla, which is a tad too dark for me, so I'm just making sure to blend it right down my neck. I do have quite a few blemishes on my face at the moment. I don't know if the camera is picking them up, but I can certainly see them in my like highly magnified mirror. So I'm going to go in and try and perfect my skin a little bit more using the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Concealer. I'm also going to be using this under my eyes as well. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. This is the shade Light. And I'm going to apply a little bit with just a small brush. This is the Sigma Inner Corner Shading E46 brush. So I'm going to use this just to dab onto my blemishes and what I'll do is I'll just let this sit a little bit before I buff it in which will help just let it set and give me a little bit more coverage. Unfortunately I have some hormonal breakouts on my neck too. <laughs> Kylie doesn't seem to have that sort of overly sculpted contoured kind of Kim Kardashian thing going on but she definitely has some lightness underneath her eyes here so I'm gonna go in a little kind of crescent shape underneath my eyes with the concealer also. I'm gonna start buffing that out with my Furless Pro 7E brush. Make sure you get that concealer right up into the inner corner where you have the most darkness. Trying to dab around the blemish so most of the product stays on top. Keeps it nice and concealed. This look is really all about the base and the lips that actually made me think of that song. It's all about the base, about the base. And I wanted to keep it quite glowy so before we set with the powder I'm going to use a few more uh, liquid products or cream products. I'm going to go in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I'm just kind of mix the products together on the back of my hand and then apply with a stippling brush. This is the MAC 130. Just applying it on the cheeks, bringing it down quite far because she does seem to have quite a bit of highlight going on. Mixing it with the concealer just makes it blend in with the foundation and base products that little bit better. So pretty. Pop a little bit on my upper lip area. For bronzer I'm going to use my Soleil Tan de Chanel or my Bronze Universal. I haven't used this in such a long time and I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques contour brush. This is a really really lovely cream bronzer product. I'm kind of starting at the back of my cheekbones almost where you put the contour but I'm also going to bring it up on the cheekbone a bit. 
I'm going to slowly work it up to my temples and across my forehead as well. To pull it all together I'm just going to run a little bit along my jawline and I'm also going to pop a little bit just on the centre of my nose as well. In this photo Kylie's wearing a rosy brown shade of blush, I think really to tie in with that neutral lip colour. So I'm going to take my Balm How About Them Apples palette, I'm going to take my favourite shade from this palette which is Caramel. Usually when looking at this first off, I would look at this shade and this would probably be my least favourite, but that just proves don't judge your makeup before you swatch it or put it on your face because this turned out to be my absolute favourite shade and I'm going to just apply this with a Makeup Geek uh, stippling brush. What I like to do is just take a little bit of the product and then just tap it off a bit on the back of my hand just so I know sort of how much product I'm working with because as you can see they're quite pigmented. Kylie seems to have it concentrated sort of towards the back of the cheekbone and moving up towards the temple. If you feel like you've over applied just go back in with your foundation brush and sort of tap around the edges to blend that out a little bit. I just want to do a tiny little bit more contouring before we're done with the face so I'm going to take the Tapered Blending E35 brush from Sigma and my NYX blush in Taupe. Just a little bit of this and I'm just going to run this along the sides of my nose. Because Kylie seems to have a little bit of contouring along here to sort of adjust the shape. Running it along the bottom of your nose will just kind of shorten your nose a little bit. And you can also run it just along the top here to create a little bit more of a button type nose if that's what you want. Just picking up a little bit more of the product and just running it in the hollows of the cheekbones as well. Finishing off the face, I'm just going to set my T-zone with my Milani Even Touch Powder Foundation in 01 Shell and my Furless Pro 2F brush. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is in the shade Brunette. I'm first going to take the spoolie and I'm just going to brush my eyebrows downwards. Mine are in desperate need of a wax and are a little bit messy. So I find it easiest to brush my brows downwards and work along the top line first. And then I brush them up and then sort of fix up the bottom line. And then I will just sort of blend it all together and fill in any sparse spots in the center. So that's what I'm going to do. Brushing them down just makes it easier to see the line that you want to create without all that hair in the way. Kylie's brows seem to have been left quite natural, they are definitely filled in but they're not overly perfected so I'm not going to go too crazy with the brow product, at least not today anyway. Setting that in place with some clear brow gel also from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette today and just a fluffy brush, this is a dome brush from Hakuhodo. I'm just going to start with a little bit of Naked 2, tapping it onto the tip of my brush. I'm just going to run this through the crease. Keeping it up, I'm not going down to my lash line, I'm kind of bringing it outwards just to kind of elongate the eye. With a little bit of Walk of Shame, which is this middle shade here. Just on the same brush, I'm just going to run this along the brow bone, kind of blending out the edge of Naked too. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of Foxy again, we're using the same brush, really simple, and I'm just wiping this across the lid. Just bringing it up to where the Naked 2 shade starts. By using this brush we're really just keeping it blended the whole way through. 
Lastly, we're going to mimic Kylie's inner corner highlight by using a little bit of Venus. I have taken a smaller brush. This is the Blending E36 from Sigma. I'm just going to pop this on the inner corners, as an inner corner highlight would suggest. It's now time for eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek Gel Liner in Immortal. This is my favorite gel eyeliner. It's super black and very, very creamy. And to apply that, I'm going to be using my Sigma Eyeliner E05 brush. For the liner, what you want to do is start off quite thin. You want to go maybe about two, the two thirds of the way in, making that the thinnest point and then slowly dragging it out and making it thickest at the end. Kylie doesn't have much of a wing. It's more of a wedge shape. Just start off quite thin and work your way up. It's not a race. Or if it was, it would be a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> we should put that on a t-shirt. Winged eyeliner is a marathon, not a sprint. If you need to, you can always go in with an angle eyeliner brush just to smooth out the line. This one here is the Zoeva Wing Liner number 317 brush. So now I'm going to finish off the eyes. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply a little bit of mascara. This is the L'Oreal False Lash Wings Mascara. And then I'm going to pop on some falsies. I know, something completely different for me. But I wanted to use these because these have been my favorites lately. These are the Kiss uh, Trio Lashes. They're so easy to apply and they can give you like really flirty lashes but be kind of controlled like you can use as many as you want to go really over the top or you can just put a few on the outer corners just to give you kind of a little bit of an extra kind of flutter to your lashes. While that glue is drying, I'm just going to clean up under the eyes a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit more of Naked 2. If I can find just a little pencil brush, just running this along the lower lash line to define it. And she seems to have a little bit of a lighter shade along the waterline, so I'm going to use my MAC Chromographic Pencil in NC15 NW20. Rimmel the um, scandalized nude pencil is a good sort of alternative. If you want a drugstore one. And then we want lots and lots of lower lashes. So I'm going to use my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara and just load them up. totally just realized that my mouth is open. Sorry for the awkward mascara face. Now that those lashes are dry, I'm just fixing up some of the gel liner, covering up that eyelash glue if necessary. Finally, it's time to finish off with lips. Like I said at the start, I'm going to be using Max Whirl Lip Pencil, which is a really nice rosy brown kind of neutral shade. I'm going to slightly overline my upper lip, not too crazy. We don't want to be looking like this. So just work really slowly. I do have a video on how to make your lips look fuller using lip liner. So I'll put a link to that here so you guys can check that out. I'll also have it in the description box. So that completes my simple Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. I hope you guys have enjoyed. You can really make this quite quick and quite simple if you take out some of the steps like the eyelashes, a couple of coats of mascara and you'll get a similar effect anyway. And if you're not that great with gel liner, maybe just use a little bit of liquid liner or pencil liner just along the upper lash line and you'll be able to get quite a nice look. 
Fun fact, I don't really watch the Kardashian TV show. I've never really sort of been a massive fan of the Kardashian Jenner family. So I'd be interested to know, do you watch the show? Who's your favorite? I was about to say character, but they're not really characters, they're people. Who's your favorite Kardashian slash Jenner family member? Let me know and, and why. And other than that, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye.